In this video, we're going to make a 3D solid model of a basic metal upholstered desk chair, uh, the kind that's on casters. It'll look something like this when we're all done. So go ahead and open up a new drawing. And I have it set up so that we have two viewports. And this left viewport, we're going to work in the top view. And in the right, an isometric view. So we can see it in 3D as we work. At the bottom of the screen, we have on ortho, object snap, and object snap tracking. So the first thing we're going to start with is getting the profile of the seat and the metal seat base put together. So we'll start with a line in our top view, and we'll make that line horizontal at 17 inches, and then a vertical coming from the midpoint straight down at 18 inches. Then we'll come from that line out 10 and snap to the top and the same thing on the other side to give kind of a wedge shape to our seat. Next to that we're going to use lines and we'll create a 16 by 16 inch square which basically will create the base of the upholstered seat. I'm going to give myself a guideline in the middle like I have on the other one so that when I move it over I can grab it from the midpoint and snap to the midpoint on the other one very easily. Okay. Also at this point, I'm going to use a polyline. And I'm going to draw a polyline from this corner on the inner square, out to, over one, down to, and C for close. I'm then going to move that in one inch and then I'm going to use mirror and mirror that so it's exactly the same place on the other side okay and that's going to serve as supports for our back later on okay just to check we're going to measure and see that the distance in between from here to here is 12 inches Okay, so at this point we can use J for join and join each of these shapes together. So I'm going to join this outer shape, but not the guideline in the middle, and then the inner shape as well. Then we can use fillet. And the first I'll do a radius of two for a polyline, so I can curve this outer seat. And then we'll do fill it again with a smaller radius of maybe um, half an inch for this base. Try that again, fill it with a radius of half an inch for a polyline, there we go. There we go, just to give that a little bit of a curve. Okay. Next to that, we're going to use a circle, and we're just going to draw that circle with a radius of 2, and then one inside of it with a radius of 1.5. And this is going to serve as the cylinder uh, underneath of our chair. In our isometric view, it's looking something like this. So we can use extrude, extrude the base up 6, and then the smaller circle at a negative 8, so that we have uh, you know, our two pieces connected there. Then, then we could switch from our top view to something like a front view to draw the actual legs that have the wheels on them. We use a polyline, and we'll create a line that comes out 12 and down 4. We'll do a fillet with a radius of 3 for a polyline to give that a curve. Then we use another polyline and create a 1 inch by 1 inch square, C for close. And then we can do a fillet with a radius of something small like 0.25 for a polyline to give that a curve. We're going to move this so that first it snaps to the end point here of that curve I created, 
and then I'll move it over again another half an inch. Once we get our shape in line with our line, we can use sweep, pick our shape, enter, and then our line, and we have the leg created. Now I'd like to actually create the uh, mechanism that holds the wheel in place. So do a polyline one by one. Fill it with a small radius to get the same shape we had before. And then in the front view, I am going to use a polyline, hover over this endpoint, and create a rectangle that's a half inch wide and one inch tall. I'll do fill it with a radius of 0.1. M for multiple to curve these bottom corners just a little bit. And then we're going to move in our 3D view from midpoint to midpoint. I can extrude this top piece up 0.1 and then this vertical piece at a negative 0.1 and then I will simply copy this piece in from this point to this point. We could union that all together to make it a little easier to deal with, so now it's one solid piece. Then we can move this shape from midpoint to midpoint. Then in our front view, I'm going to go ahead and grab a circle and create a circle with a radius of 0.75. Then we can extrude that circle half an inch and move it into place from its center point to right here. And then we'll just nudge it over another 0.15. If we'd like to round that wheel off a little bit, we could do a fillet with a radius of something small, maybe like 0.1 again. Pick it, enter, and pick another line. There we go. All right, so once we have our leg and wheel all created, we can actually array it around this um, column. So I'm just gonna grab move, move this from its center point to the midpoint here. Then I'm going to move the leg itself up two inches, so it's up a little higher. You can see that in the front view here. Then we're going to do a polar array. Select the leg, enter. Then we'll pick this midpoint. And that number of objects looks fine to me. That looks good. Then I'm going to copy out the cylinder move it off to the side exactly 24 inches, and I will explode the array on the legs, and then I will subtract this cylinder out. So first, I'll pick all the legs, enter, and then I'll pick the cylinder, that's the object I'm using to actually cut, and it cuts out that hole. Then I can move the other cylinders back exactly 24 inches. At this point, we'll just go ahead and move all of these seat 2D components up to the top whoops, of that cylinder. Try that again. From midpoint to the center. There we go. And we'll do some extrusions. So, we'll extrude this part up one inch, and we'll extrude these two small pieces here up one inch. All right, then we will just move this part of the seat up one, so it's actually on top of that base, and then we'll extrude the seat two. 
Okay. Now we actually want to make the back of the chair. So I could do something in the front view, for example, and we'll make a polyline. 